Oh man, beautiful people, my beautiful patriots around the world. I hope everybody is blessed, well, healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life. I told y'all we got another one of those you get what you voted for kind of videos in Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. Oh, boy, boy, boy. <laughs> oh man. But uh, we'll leave the original link in the description box down below. And shout out to Joseph for sending this one over via email. And I tell you guys, send it to me, email it to me, DM it to me. Thank y'all for all the love, the support, the kind donations. People have sending in amazing reactions for me to check out as well. You guys have been such a blessing, man. And we're wishing the best in all you guys' life. We sent out tons of mega hats. Um, we've been gotten to be a blessing to tons of people. We're sending them out every single day. So do not be afraid to email me. I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life, man. But we got to hit those. You got what you voted for, Sirens. Where is my Sirens at, y'all? I got to hit my Sirens. You know I got to hit it. I can do is shake my head man all I can do is shake my head ah Chicago 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 <laughs> we just checked out New York so coming from New York and to then to Chicago is just like you know somebody just might as well come up in here with a steel a stainless steel chair and hit me upside the head But again, man, I hope everybody is doing well, man. That everybody can live the life they deserve, man. I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life. We don't care about your skin color, where you're from, where you where you live at, how tall, how short, how big, how skinny. Again, I don't care if you you got no hair at all, if you got long hair. Again, my brothers and sisters, we all bleed the same, and we all got to die one day. So I want to wish the best in all you guys' life, man. I love y'all. Join the OK Life family. Here we're almost at 60,000 beautiful families around the world spreading love every single day. Yes, indeed. My beautiful patriots around the world, I love y'all, man. It's a lot of sexy, kind, genuine, loving patriots around the world, baby. Yes, indeed, man. We're going to keep this thing rocking and rolling, y'all. Comment down below. And again, I hope everybody's having an amazing start to the week and an amazing start to a new month, April. Time is going by fast. Do not take it for granted, y'all. Time is going by fast, but let's check out this video. Chicago mayor suffers defeat at the polls after African American did this. Oh man, let's check it out. And shout out to Joseph for sending this over via email. Let's check it out. Season around the world, especially in Chicago, and people are not so happy with Brandon Johnson in his first year as mayor. Brandon Johnson can be described as an incompetent progressive the liberal if that makes sense with policies that annoy the crap out of people the funny thing is he was supposed to do a better job than Lori Lightfoot I bet any money people would much have Lori Lightfoot as the mayor than Brandon Johnson but be it as it may Brandon Johnson tried to introduce a particular tax called bring Chicago oh, wow. home this was supposed to be a tax that pretty much did what Robin Hood did. Steal from the rich and give to the poor. But mm, not quite. Because you see, it's supposed to tax homes higher, you know, when they sell of a million dollars. And that money is supposed to fund homelessness. But what was not really discussed was this referendum would actually be passed on to people who are renters who can't even well, hold on because if that's the case in most commercial properties over over a million dollars and if you tax that well then what do you have to do what well, makes sense you have to then carry that tax over to renters because if you're going to tax me for something i gotta pass it on so then poor people actually who are renting get to pay that tax now and such things have already been tried in los angeles where the commercial real estate market was destroyed so people didn't want to vote for it but i could already tell that the referendum wasn't going to pass because remember this particular sister 
said this about the Bring Chicago Home Act. Roughly, when are you going to find a floor leader? It's been three months. That should be another argument. We also will be voting no to bring Chicago home on March 19th. And Mayor Johnson, glad to hear you decided not to ask city council to prove not another dollar for the illegals. If the oh, yeah, they were going to vote no. They were going to vote no. Did I see the uh, what I see? What did I see on that head? What did I see on that head? Did you see what I seen? Or was my my screen glitching out? <laughs> You see what I mean? Oh, bro. Oh, beautiful people. I love y'all, man. Let me stop acting a fool. Act professional, Rick. Act professional. Inhale, exhale. And at first I was like, mm, we'll see. But then this happened. It's in Sylvia, things have been steady here, but not nearly as busy as election officials would like to see. Any registered voter in Chicago, no matter what ward you live in, can come to the super site here in the loop to cast your ballot. And officials with the Chicago Election Commission are urging people to get out and vote because right now voter turnout here in Chicago is low compared to previous elections, down about 50% compared to this this point leading up to the 2020 and 2016 primaries that goes for mail-in ballots and in-person early voting let me tell you guys man 2024 is our year beautiful patriots we encourage everybody to go out and vote go out and vote everybody 60,000 yes. vote by mail ballots have been returned this year, while a total of 177,000 were requested for this election. Meanwhile, Max Bever of the Chicago Board of Elections breaks down the surprising numbers for in person early voting. Unfortunately, uh, early voting has been a little bit sluggish uh, comparatively to our previous presidential primaries, but even our municipal elections. We just saw over 72,000 ballots cast as of last night. For the 2020 election, we were already over 150,000 early votes. For the 2016 mm. election, we were already over 130,000 early votes. So that's a little troublesome to see. That's right. Low voter turnout. That's one way of saying Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson F you. We don't like you. Your ass is staying in office for <laughs> one term. Nothing that you're trying to do will be passed. And then we got the results of the election of the referendum. And the results said this. Well, the Bring Chicago Home referendum is being shot down by Chicago residents after causing a lot of controversy. Roseanne joins us live now with details on where the voters stand. Hi, Roseanne. Good morning, Natalie. It's not looking good. And that despite the fact that supporters worked on this for months, they spent millions of dollars on a campaign to get this passed. Let's take a look at those numbers this morning with 98% of the vote no. counted. 54% say no. no. While 46% say yes. The measure would increase the transfer tax on properties worth more than a million dollars. And that would raise money for homelessness prevention efforts, although few specifics have been provided. Now, the gathering of Supporters last night was subdued. They're hoping mail-in votes could make a difference. Progressives had pushed for the tax with support from Mayor Brandon Johnson. But critics say that the cost of this tax would have been pushed on to renters and also would hardest hit would be commercial businesses that are already struggling. And then I found this clip of a really good explanation as to why it failed from the black community. Let's listen to this lady and find out. Let's check it out. A lot of people who I have listened to, spoken to on the radio and in the communities were really highly upset that the referendum that they really wanted on the ballot did not make it and didn't get a full hearing. And that's the one about whether or not we should continue to commit money towards sanctuary city and immigrants and that type of thing. And there are a lot of people like, you're not getting this. We didn't get that. And I don't know what that translates into, but I, I know that there were, I think you would have even seen probably higher turnout if that had made it onto the ballot. But there's more. Continue. I, I'm going to say that I know 
quite a few people talked about the idea that they felt like their vote was suppressed when that referendum, which was just an advisory, it wasn't binding, but when that did not get a full hearing, when they used kind of parliamentary procedure to just block even having a vote on it in city council, that left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. It wasn't to end sanctuary city status, but it was to decide whether there should be a cap on how much money should go toward that. A lot of communities, especially African American communities, are the number one communities where the migrants are. That doesn't seem to be changing anytime in the near future. These neighborhoods are changing a lot because of this. And there's not a lot of discussion about what is going to happen with African Americans in these communities or, or where, where people are living, how this is happening. Um, we talk about crime a lot. Whether right or wrong, people are associating a lot of the thefts in the stores with migrants could be completely wrong. But there are just so many factors that are not being discussed. And historically, African-American communities are having their face completely changed by this and not having a lot of discussion about or even being able to weigh in on what they want to see happen in their communities. So I think down the road, you may see more as we go go closer, closer to, to yes, yes. yes. Oh yes, first of all, the African American community felt ignored. So what did they want to do? They wanted to then ignore Brandon Johnson. By doing what? By not showing up to the polls. And this was a strategy that Tariq Nasheed talked about even with Joe Biden. He said this. What's going on? So your boy Biden, your boy Biden, listen, they're out here campaigning very heavy they're out here doing the same old four-year hustle where they go out here and start doing this janky pandering to black people to get us to vote without actually giving us anything. These people know that we want tangibles. We're letting them know we're not getting in that voting booth till we get some tangibles, ladies and gentlemen. We want tangibles and they're playing games with our damn tangibles. They want to act funny style. You yeah? know? They want to act real funny style with our paper. So we got to send a message to the Democrats, ladies and gentlemen. Now my, my thing is not jumping over to the Republicans, but if some of you want to do that, knock yourself out. But my thing is I'll choose the couch. I'm willing. We got to let the Democrats know. We got to send a message to them. This is why they're trying to Come on to over. Y'all know we get emails every single day. People that can come on over to the to the to the side, man. Come on, come on. A lot of people are fed up. They sick of this nonsense, man. They're tired. They see what's going on. They see the corruptness, man. They see things not being done. Yeah, man. Ice cream cones and snow cones. How was your Easter Sunday? God bless all you beautiful people, man. Flood the zone. They're trying to let these immigrants come over, flood the zone, and use them as a new constituency. And we have to let them know that's not going And it's interesting I made a video about this entire topic. And that's exactly what happened. A lot of blacks just didn't show up to vote at the polls. But one of the reasons why is because what they wanted on the referendum was to limit the funding for the migrant spending was not on the referendum at all. They didn't really care about the bring Chicago home tax. That wasn't relevant, right? The reason why it's not relevant is because the money being used to spend for the migrants would can at least be limited and then you can spend that money, the remainder of the money, to go head on and try to attack homelessness or jobs in the city and things like that, crime, whatever. But when you've already spent $250 million and now you're talking about doing more taxes when you've already spent $250 million or $300 million of the city's money, nobody wants to hear about a tax. Why? Because they don't trust your ass, hmm. number one. First of all, they don't think that you can get anything done. Want to know why? Because people largely feel you're stupid and incompetent. That's why they feel that way. And since they're not getting what they want, then Mayor Brandon Johnson, you won't get what you want. But this guy is delusional. 
he's still hopeful things will change. Check this out. No one said it was going to be easy, you know, but the, the fact of the matter is in this moment that you have, you know, a very low turnout. It's incumbent upon all of us to make sure that we are engaging the people of Chicago in a way that, that, that maximizes uh, the, the fullness of democracy. You know, so you know, the quarter of a billion dollars that I've dedicated to the unhoused, the brand new chief homelessness officer. Um, the last I checked, though, um, that the, the people of Chicago are, are still very much committed to, it, to, to addressing and solving this issue. So very much committed, the fight still goes on. No, bro, sorry, uh, Brandon Johnson, because you lost in a significant way. 56% to 44%, right? That's pretty significant. It doesn't feel like to me that people are going to change their minds. So you can't give people what they want to have. Nope, I know you're progressive, but you got to give people what they want. And what the people wanted wasn't even on a goddamn ballot. So of course, if they're not going to get what they want, and we know that migrant crisis funding ballot thing would have been almost like 90% in favor of no. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy Shady Jackson back at it again with another episode of Fair. Oh man. Time to go. Y'all say vote all Dems out of office. <laughs> Y'all give me a good old kick and laugh, man. <laughs> oh boy, y'all funny, man. Look at that. Some of these comments I can, I'm not gonna say out loud, but you know for you know it for what it is, man. Uh Chicago is just broken, man. But uh comment down below what you guys think, man. Um, salute to all the beautiful people and beautiful patriots around the world that have been joining the channel. And we're going to continue to spread the love. Again, y'all, 2024 is our year. We need you guys to go out and vote. And hey, we're wishing the best in all you guys' life. Spread that love to one another because you never know what somebody is going through. And I will catch you beautiful people in the next one, man. Peace and love, y'all.